I say yo Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is basketball, baby. Now, every year, the NBA, well, the Basketball Naismith Hall of Fame allows a bunch of people into the Hall of Fame, you feel me? I don't usually do a breakdown every year, but I actually like the draft class this year. I feel like this is one of the best draft classes of all time. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of heavy hitters in here. A lot of heavy hitters. One, we got Dwayne Wade going in the Hall of Fame this year. Easy, easy first candidate. He's going to be presented by Allen Iverson. That's going to be a moment. I remember I watched that video every day of after Kobe passed away. It's this video of Dwayne Wade walking up on Allen Iverson, giving him a hug and all of that. And they start to cry and get emotional. I might try to put it in this video. But every day I watch that video, bro. That's a nice video. D-Wade said Allen, Iver Allen Iverson influenced him to wear the number three. That's why he got the number three, because of AI. So to see AI and Doug Kim, that's going to be dope. We got Greg Popovich going in the Hall of Fame this year. That's a big deal. Greg Popovich is going to be inducted by David Robinson, Manu Ginobili, Tim Duncan, and Tony Parker. Legit, four Hall of Famers that I coached, that I drafted, is going to now put me in the Hall of Fame. That's dope. That's dope. I ain't going to lie. I think Popovich is probably the greatest coach of all time. When you look at the shit that I took, I didn't have no first round picks. Only first round picks I had was Timmy and David Robinson. I made Kawhi Leonard, made Tony Parker, made Manu Ginobili, and now y'all gave me Victor Wambanaba. You feel me? Y'all want me to make him into a superstar. So Popovich easily deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. Next, we got Pau Gasol, former Los Angeles Laker, two-time NBA champion. He's going to the Hall of Fame, getting presented by Tony Kukoc. This is going to be good. Nice little international flavor. I feel like, God bless, if Kobe was alive, Kobe would have did it. Gangster. If Kobe was alive, he'd have ducked the pile into the Hall of Fame. But he's not here no more, so it's good that Tony Kukoc is doing it. I don't know why Marcus Gasol is not doing it. He had a good career, but they want a nice little international flavor in the Hall of Fame. I see it. Um, we got Tony Parker going in the Hall of Fame. Five-time, no, four-time NBA champion or three-time with the San Antonio Spurs, right? One of the two. He's being presented by Manu Ginobili and Tim Duncan. Big deal. Popovich and, Tim, and Tony Parker going in the Hall of Fame the same year. And they going in the same year with D-Wade. They had a bunch of battles. Bunch of battles, you feel me? And last but not least, Dirk Nowinski. Easy. Easy first battle Hall of Fame with Dirk Nowinski, you feel me? Dirk Nowinski changed the game of basketball. One of the first stretch fours ever. Gangster. Probably the best stretch four ever. Ever. Ever of all time, bro. Easily one-time champion with the Dallas Mavericks. Went to the finals two times. 2006-7 MVP, Dirk Nowinski, bro. All-time go. All-time go. I ain't gonna lie. I might put this in two different videos. I don't know yet. But I really like this Hall of Fame. And then we got Becky Hammond going in, presented by Sheryl Swoops. David Hickson going in, presented by John Calipari. That's going to be dope. Gary Blair going in, presented by Teresa Witherspoon. We got Gino Best going in, presented by Chris Bosh and Roy Williams and John Calipari. Gene Kennedy going in, presented by Joe Kalingo, Tom Izzo, Aset Popovich. Jim Valazino, presented by John Calipari again. So it's going to be a dope Hall of Fame, you feel me? I might do a separate video when I talk about everybody's speeches. Because I know D-Wade going to have a good-ass speech. D-Wade is going to have a great speech. D-Wade might be the main event. I ain't going to lie. D-Wade might close that shit out, bro. He's going to have a great speech. But I know Dirk going to have a few words. Popovich is not going to say a lot. I ain't going to lie. Popovich is going to troll that shit. Greg Popovich is going to troll the Hall of Fame. Gangsta, he's going to troll it. He's going to troll it. Um, but I mean, I'm looking forward to it, gangsta. Some good speeches, some good comments, some basketball legends. This is what it's all about, bro. And I like that they all going in the same year. Dirk damn near retired the same year as um, Tony Parker, same year as D Wade. They all retired the same year. So now they all going in the Hall of Fame damn near the same year. I think it's dope. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, 
comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with